Hi there, I'm Shal Katsia from musiczerotheater.com and um, I've got another question I get asked a lot and that is do I need to learn to read music when I play guitar? Once again, as I always do, I'll answer you yes and no. Alright, why yes? Let's first start with a no this time, let's, let, let's break things up a little bit. You do not need to learn to read the dots right off the bat, okay? Um, the dots is just the, the little black notes with the stems that go up or down that you write down on, 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 the, on the music stave. Um, because learning to read that right from the start, unless you're following like a specific classical kind of studying, but if you're doing contemporary music, then uh, learning to read that to get you going from the start is quite difficult. Because on the piano, for instance, there's only one note on the actual physical piano for every note on the stave, okay? So then, then that's easy. If it's got the fourth space, if there's a note in the fourth space, that'll be an E. If it's in the treble clef, then there's only one place on the piano where you can find that specific E. All the other E's, they're going to be higher or lower, which will, depending where they'll be on, on, on the stave. But for the guitar, this E, and this E, and this E, and this E, and this E, they are all the same. And if I had 24 frets, then I would have had six different places to play that exact same note. So now it becomes a total nightmare because you just, where am I going to play all these notes? What do I do? I'm just learning to play the guitar. I don't even know what the notes are called over here. What about there? So it is doable when you start somewhere. But let's say I'm going to teach you some blues today and we're going to do... Let me get the right chord there. Now, if I had to write that down for you um, using just notation, it would take um, quite a while for you to actually transfer what's happening on the pace of uh, a piece of music to your head, right? And, and internalize it and then actually play it. So, from that regard, no, you don't need to learn to read dots. But what you absolutely, most certainly need to learn to read is rhythms. Because if you can lead, learn to read rhythms, then... Um, and, and chord charts, just following bars along with the rhythms, then I can put any chart in front of you and you'd be able to play that song, okay? And then, um, so when you're first starting out, definitely start learning to read rhythms, figuring out, you know, what's the difference between a quarter note, a half note, an eighth note, and all those kind of things, and um, learn how to play those rhythms by following chord charts, okay? Now, we've got examples of, of these charts at, at our websites, um, and if, you, if you'd like to go and check it out, you can go and visit our sites. But you, um, if you want to get hold of this range of videos that I put together where, I'm, where I've answered a bunch of uh, frequently asked questions, then um, all you need to do is go to rhythmguitar 0 com forward slash getting started. And then um, there'll be a page over there where you'd be able to get hold of all these videos and go and check them out. So uh, that's it for me uh, for this video. I hope you've learned something and um, maybe I've uh, lightened the burden for you a little bit so that you don't have to go and worry about really learning to read music on top of all the other things that you need to do. But um, once again, if you are overzealous and you really want to learn to do that, then I'm not going to stop you. Um, just make sure you've got enough time to focus on the fundamentals first. Okay, um, so uh, that's it for me and I will catch you on another video. Take it easy.